I'm filming and it's not up for a convention for once. Shocker. For those who don't know, my name's Nina. I am Fantasy Forge Skyplays. One of the creators. I do the video editing, take videos mostly, come up with different projects and stuff. The purpose of this vlog here today is to explain what have we been doing? Where have I been? Where has everybody else been? What have we been doing for the past few months that we have been on a unintentional hiatus? Well, a lot has happened to us. So what has happened since I did not post Colossal's video? Forgot to do that. That's just called me being lazy. Me not wanting to do things. Not that I don't want to, it's just I have been so busy and working and just haven't gotten around to it yet, but it's going to happen. I am putting my foot down and Damien has made me put my foot down about getting our stuff out there being more into this community thing that I want to do, that I want to put our name out there, that I want to be involved in this cosplay community and into the YouTube aspect that I've been trying to do. And I even bought a new camera and a, and a tripod. But, you know, it takes sitting down and doing it to actually do something about it. But as you can see, right now, I am in a new area. This has not been filmed at all. I am currently not in my parents' house anymore. Shocker, I know. But basically in our hiatus, uh, after we got back from Colossal, Damien, my boyfriend, and the co-person of getting me to put my foot down and getting my shit together, and our other can our other crew member who is Connor who usually does our vlogging and stuff while I am in cosplay and everybody else is in cosplay he usually takes over the camera things but the three of us have officially moved into this place in I believe it was September after we came back from Colossal so that is what is up with this environment and all these beautiful things and everything like that so this is going to be a update video of what we've been doing and also <sighs> exploring my house because I don't get into I don't get like personal I want you guys to feel personal I want you and me to be friends I want all of us to be friends I want you guys to want to know what we're doing and I want to know what you guys have been up to and just be an all around friendship aspect. But yeah, new environment, new things. Um, I think that's about it. We've just been working and busy. But since we got all of our cosplay stuff back up and we are currently in cosplay season, as I like to call it, uh, we have, I believe Setsu is in two weeks. Nick Davis, who is our other co-creator of our group, He's flying back from Washington in a week, so I will pick him up the 24th and we will be back to doing con things for a week because that's when SetsuCon starts that weekend and Nick's flying back for that and for my birthday and our other friend Cheyenne's birthday who's also in this group, but most of everything that has been making that we have here that I will show you in a few minutes, but um, we've been taking progress pictures and everything to show you guys that we do take a long, long time to build things such as props and we're going to do more this year. That is our 2019 goal because 2018 we kind of slacked off a little bit, but that's, that's what I have and it's been crazy but we're, we're getting by. But I do want to show you guys the messy house I should have cleaned before I decided to do this, but it feels more personal that you see that I we are actually living 
in this house and it's not just clean all the time because currently we also acquired a few animals and one you can probably hear chewing below the camera. But I want to show you guys those things and get a new motion and to post things more often and this is one of the things that I can post without editing for hours and hours and changing into costumes and everything like that. But further ado, let's go around the house and meet our critters and what we're living in. I had to redo this because my camera had sponges on it and it wasn't focusing. Anywho, I have more. The room I am standing in, this is our dining room. We are currently using it to build our props and everything. Mostly it's been Damien because I am so hard to get to do things, but we finally worked out a system. But this is our dining room. This is also where I've been filming right now and where everything just gets thrown, but it was nice at one point, I promise. Just forewarning. It, it looks a little messy because we've been building in here. But this is our dining room. This is what I was talking about. All the stuff's everywhere. This is a little, I'll give you a little teaser as to what he's building, including there over there. This is mine and Damien's collection of cat treats. Bet you can't guess what those are for. And. Our pop figures, most, all the big ones are Damien's, Overwatch, and then the Kingdom Hearts ones are mine. I got them for Christmas. And up here, someone made me a lovely Kingdom Hearts wall art. My sister got me a thing of keys. And then over here, I believe Cheyenne got me this uh, last year. And it's the Sheikah Slate. It, it's supposed to glow in the dark, but I don't think it's under a lot of light yet to do that. And then over here we have latex gloves. Well, no. On latex gloves, Damien's allergic. Um, our All Might Pop a Damien got for Christmas this year. Cheyenne thought it'd be funny to give Damien this Jesus All Might candle, which was actually really funny. And over here is my Christmas presents. Well, Connor got me this as a just a gift. He saw it and knew it. I love Bakugo. So he got me that. And Cheyenne ordered this from Etsy. If you can see what it is, it's a light. Light bulb's down there. And it's a Okami light. And it's so beautiful. And where is this person's name? They even wrote Made With Love. And thank you and all the people there. And I got it from Etsy. I wish I knew what store it was so you guys can check them out. Not sponsored, but they do beautiful work as you can see there. And this is all of our things we use to basically build our props. We have our Mod Podge, we have spray paint. I hear a cat coming up the stairs. What are you doing, Daxter? What are you doing? Ruining mom's vlog, that's what you're doing. Say hi. You wanna say hi? No? No? Fuck you? Okay. And my groom, I love her so much. But um, she got me a sewing basket for Christmas as I always need sewing things. So she got me a little kit for me to take to conventions. And then down here we have a crap load of duct tape. And cans, I think they have pipes in it. Unfortunately, it's not candy. To my dismay. And a heat gun. But I think that's everything in here. A little teaser of, ooh, I'm stripped. This is what Damien's been working on for the past few weeks. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It will be a surprise reveal. Unless you follow us on Instagram, I kinda spoiled it. Whoopsies. But it's looking really nice. It's got, let me pick it up. He used a, I don't remember what, it's just like a pipe with Eva foam and grafting foam, and then I actually use Mod Podge over it so it doesn't destroy the foam whenever he is done with it. I'm terrible at explaining this because I didn't do the work on it, he did. I just 
I just painted it up here after he was done with the building of this. Now he's working on the other edge of this weapon. But yeah, and back there is just um, things discarded. Really nice to know. And and after the dining room, I'll show you my least favorite room right now because it's such a mess, is a kitchen. I won't show you that side, it's terrible, don't look at it. But over here, this is just our kitchen. Um, we have a lot of soda boxes. Damien had us keep them. Hi, Daxter. This is Daxter. <laughs> you guys know him if you've seen my videos. He pops up a lot. But uh, Damien had us keep all the all of our cardboards here, just so we had extra cardboard to use if we needed it for props. And there's dog treats. I'll show you these cups because I love these cups. We got these for Christmas. They even got an Overwatch mug, and it's a really nice mug. Nick Wyant, who's joining our forces in FFC, got me a mug for My Hero Academia, and it's cool because whenever it's heated up, it actually shows you before heat, and then after heat, it actually has all the characters on it, which is really neat. I just need to use it at some point. And then Bree, one of our friends, got me Bakugo mugs, which I love. I love Bakugo, if you can't tell. But those were nice Christmas presents. I'm gonna put these back. Look at the donuts that I didn't eat. Hi, Daxter. And over there, another hint at what we have. I bet you can't tell. We have a dog. But this crate here is little Miss Himiko. This is Damien's little kitten. I think she is six months now. Hi, Pecora! And this is Pecora. Yes, everybody's named after anime or video games. Hi, sweetie. Hi, Pecora. You want to say hi? No? No? Sit? Good boy. Want to give me a paw? Give me a paw. Good boy, yeah. Good boy. This is Pecora. He is also six months old. Um, I got him in November before Thanksgiving. And we also had another dog, but that's another story for another day. Isn't it? Yes. Okay. Sorry, I get distracted. And over here, I didn't show you guys this. In the dining room, we also bought this for the cats. It's a giant cat tree we got for Black Friday. They're normally, I think, 150 bucks, but we got it for, I believe, 52 for Black Friday's deals. It wasn't the color we originally wanted, but hey, it works. I'll take it. Let me turn the light on. This is our living room. It's a mess right now because before has been teething and rummaging through everything. And also there's a cup for me because I just had Subway. And this is our living room. Let me get a better picture. Hi, Bacora. You want to be in it? It's so messy and it was so nice and I feel I feel bad because you guys might think we're messy people, but we're not. This is just what happens when you live with animals and it was clean at one point and now it's not. Isn't that right, Bacora? Yeah, that's right. You look guilty. And then over here, this is platelets, or platelets. Uh, things I bought for our my cosplay that I'm gonna do in Teco that we're gonna try and build the mask for and there's more Going to be more about that and that will post to Instagram for uh, Updates in our progress here is like As you can see here, this is like our walk-in. This is like mudroom for most rooms, but it's just like the front door and everything and now we go upstairs I'll show you Sarah's was before I found my slipper and then she he also some wake up up here that's where we sleep in game alrighty this is just the hallway nothing exciting that's the closet that before has been going in lately our bathroom nothing fun in there but over here <laughs> This is our office. We were originally going to use this for oh, our cosplay things, but it's turned into the office where I edit and Connor plays League. But we have this gate up here. That's so Bacora can't come in here. 
and eat Daxter's food because Daxter's grouchy. And then over here, we don't have anything in here yet. He should be coming Friday. Give you a look at his enclosure. This is going to be for a leopard gecko. And I've been reading a lot about different reptiles since I got reptiles. I tried to make sure I have everything. I have a heating pad under here for the warm side. I have a light bulb in case I might need it. It has a basking bulb in it. And I have to replicate for leopard geckos the, you have to like le replicate the day and night cycle even though they're nocturnal. It's just so they don't get their cycle messed up. But I also, in there there's calcium in that dish right there and just hides he can hide in and I'm going to make that the wet hide, um, the damp hide um, for, to make it easier for him to shed. Read a lot about that. Don't know, I'm not an expert at these things at all, but don't blame me. But that's what I have so far for the leopard gecko that we are getting. Hi, hey, Bacora. Oh, would you like to take us to the bedroom? That's not where the bedroom is. No, it's not. It's that way. It's that way. Okay. No one follows me. And here is our bedroom. It's a little messy. Um, yeah, I tore the covers off this morning. But this is our bedroom. This is where I game mostly. Damien's is downstairs. Mine's upstairs. Same with Connor's, our messy bed. I'll show you these guys over here. Oh gosh, there's so many flies. We need to get rid of these. They come and go so much. Hi! These are Damien's guinea pigs, Mila and Eva. Hi! Hi, they think I'm gonna feed them. You do need food. Looks like you're good on water. Okay, back up. I don't know a lot about guinea pigs. I just do what Damien tells me for them. I do give them lettuce when I give my other pet his lettuce for the day. And over here is um, my bearded dragon. I didn't clean out his enclosure today, so it's a little tiny bit messy, but it's usually cleaner than this. This is Igneal. But you guys can recognize that name, but he is a red bearded dragon. He is a ham and I love him. I do, I give him romaine lettuce in case somebody wanted to know what I feed him. And I feed him mealworms, superworms, crickets, and roaches. Hey, baby. How are you? How are you today? He's so friendly, and I love him to death. Because I'm very old, and I got him in July. Uh, I don't think you guys seen him yet, because he was in... He was over at Damien's uh, sister's house whenever... Ah, we went to Colossal for that video. But yeah, he's a happy little bug. I love him. But that's most of all. I think that's all of our animals. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of there. Yeah, so that's basically our house. It's so messy right now because I did clean it. And then again, when you have animals like cats and dogs, they like to destroy everything. Um... That's about it for that. I'm gonna go back downstairs. And now we're back to the living room where I'm filming right now. But that's about it for what I have for updates. We just, we got a dog, we got a cat. Connor got a cat, but he's so scared and I didn't want to intrude his uh, private space. So I just left him where he, where he was where he's comfortable because he's so skittish. But we got a cat, we got a dog, we got a bearded dragon. Bearded dragon I bought back in July when I was still living with my parents. But And now I'm getting a leopard gecko for my birthday. Compliments to being in eating my reptile habit that I have now acquired. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and let you know that yes, we're still here. Yes, I'm still trying to post things and come up with new ideas, but it's so hard to do when you're first starting out like this. I used to be, we 
we need to do this, we need to have it ready for this day, but since since Nick's moved out to Washington, I lost momentum and then other things happened and you know, that's just how life is. But I'm gonna try it, that's my goal for 2019. I wanna keep you guys updated because I know that we're so small right now, but hey, you gotta start somewhere. And I'm just happy that we have like, I think the last time I checked was like 60 subscribers to this channel alone. But I just wanted to give you guys an update and insight to my life because my life is still is like everybody else's. It's full of bills working and just keeping orderly things and together in your own house, especially when you have animals like that. But yeah, that's, that's about it what I had to share. But if you guys want to stay up to date with us at all, I do. I am starting to post our Instagram. I'll link the in the description below. I will put our Instagram down there. We also are on Cosplay Amina, which I know some cosplayers use. I will put that down there as well. I did link it to our main uh, channel. And I'll also stick our Facebook down there. If you guys ever want to ask us questions or anything, you can contact us through there. I don't have a Twitter for us yet. And I don't know if I'll ever do that because I don't even know how Twitter works, to be honest. But maybe if we get so many followers and stuff like that, I might post to Twitter to keep you guys up to date what we're doing and what cons we plan to go to. Right now, I will tell you the con schedule is SetsuCon is in two weeks, and I will be vlogging there. Um, Teco is going to be in April, though, which we are going to. We don't know if Nick's attending because of school and also because he does live out in Washington. And as far as other cons other than those two that we regularly go to, I know me and Damien are not going to Colossal Con again this year. Connor is, but he won't be. I don't think he'll be vlogging or anything like that unless he chooses to and I will post it if he does but um other than that we are making plans to maybe go to Yomacon this year or I talked to Nick about possibly seeing about PAX so we'll see what's what's what down the road that's months away but it'll creep up on here soon but I just want to give you guys an update and as always if you like the video please like the uh, give it a like if you would like to keep up to date with us please hit that subscribe button and the notification bell I know it doesn't notify you a lot whenever we make something new and because we're so inconsistent at the moment with uploads it would be a great idea to hit that notification bell just so you know for our future uploads and also if you want any updates on us regularly and probably like weekly um, once we get going on our cosplay bench here I will be posting progress pictures on Instagram and also possibly cosplay you know. Um, and okay. other than that, but it was nice talking to you guys. Hope to see you in our next video. And from there on, have a wonderful day. I'm waking up to